My name is Penn, and this is my partner, Teller. I am one foot taller than Teller. I have been for 10 years, and I always will be. Some things never change. But we're professional liars. We like to fool people, trick their eyes, cheat them, swindle them. This whole room is a trick, and we're not going to tell you how it's done. This show is about how artists use paintings and drawings to trick your eyes. What I'm trying to get at, though, is we, we're so used to looking at pictures where the viewpoint is fixed. The artist, like the cameraman, it stood still. We begin to think everything looks that way, don't we? But it's actually very unlike the way we see, because our lives are all about movement. We want movement. Now, if I walk round the chair and then think of what I saw, this seems to me would make it more real. Around the beginning of the 15th century in Europe, during a time called the Renaissance, people saw that even though uh, a road is actually um, made of two lines that are the same distance apart from each other, the lines seem to come together as the road goes off into the distance. And they meet at a point on the horizon line called the vanishing point. Artists developed a whole system around this idea, and it's called perspective. This system allowed them to organize all the things in their pictures. Painters were fascinated with perspective and used it to make their pictures look very deep.